My name is Joel Thomas. I am one of the co-founders of Project Be Free, and I serve as the community outreach manager. Our mission is to serve all people that are affected by domestic violence. The vision is to create holistic wraparound services for each individual, and that could be youth, former abusers, parents, grandparents, so that that way we can cut down on reoccurring uh, instances of, of domestic violence. I'm former law enforcement, I used to be a police officer. So when I would respond to domestic violence calls, our responses to it as first responders was, was very small. We were looking to make arrests, but not so much how to help the situation. But as a police officer, coming to these scenes with, with little to few options for the families, made me want to create something or to offer something more. Um, and so that's where one of the, the main ideas from Project Be Free was to offer officers another tool when they're dealing with community members that are going through something like this. I'm Jessica Gudino. I'm the Youth Outreach Specialist with Project Be Free. I work with the youth that's in both situations. She was impacted by the domestic violence in the household and she was starting to be a perpetrator because she was acting out on what she was seeing. So this youth was referred to us by the camp police department and after the incident the youth was actually hospitalized for suicide ideation. And when I met the youth after she was released I got to meet the youth in her home and the first thing she tells me is I'm a fighter. I don't back down from any fight. So I asked her, where is this coming from? And she said, seeing my mom being verbally and physically abused, I made myself a promise that I was not gonna let anybody hurt me. And so if somebody looks at me the wrong way, if someone says something to me that I don't like, I'm gonna defend myself and I'm gonna fight back. And the look in her face when she said that is like she had this aha moment and she realized that it was just a lot of hurt and anger she decided that I want to have a fresh start. Her grades have gone way up and her relationship with her mom, it's a work in progress, but they both want it and they both are willing to work at it. And the most amazing thing is that her suicide ideation have, has gone way down. Mom actually texts me when I wrapped up services with her. She's like, thank you, you've made an impact in my daughter's life. There's a difference. Hi, my name is Katia Wojcik. I'm the co-founder and executive director of Project Be Free. Getting the opportunity to have $100,000 that was unrestricted, Project Be Free would have the ability to do three different things. Our community gets the opportunity to continue to have services as our program is developing. It's important for us to continue our services that are 24 seven. So even in instances where there is a gap in funding because we haven't been reimbursed on time, it's important for us to continue that service. The second part is that we, as an organization, also get the opportunity to pay our staff on time. Oftentimes it's really challenging um, supporting a community that is in a place of scarcity when we ourselves are also in that place. The last piece is the opportunity for us to continue the vision of growth. We want operations to continue as they are while we are looking at new cities to partner with. We have data to support us and partnerships, feedback to support us saying that, yes, the work is what it is presented as. Yes, it's successful. Um, yes, here are the outputs. So that's really exciting for me as a leader to be able to showcase that. We are about two weeks away, probably by the end of May, we will have surpassed our, our numbers from last year. So here again, um, on trajectory at the end of the year, to be um, supporting about a 1,200 families. We wanted to be able to serve a lot of people all the time, whenever they need it, and um, show that it's possible. And that's, that's one of the things that's working. We're getting a lot of buy-in and support because it is possible. Um, yeah, it's, it's, been, it's been a great journey.